The evolution of gaming technology is a funny thing. We went from playing games on radar equipment, to cathode ray tube monitors, to flat screen TVs that you probably have hanging on your wall. However, in this progression, a lot of gamers realize that we've lost something in translation. Due to how flat screen TVs work with their refresh rates and whatnot, it's impossible to play light gun games on them, because phosphors on a CRT refresh slightly slower than the refresh rate on any flat screen TV which would correct itself. Interestingly enough, the opposite is true for any other traditional game. Playing retro games on a CRT gives you a near 1 to 1 output with pretty much no lag whatsoever. Whereas I'm sure you're all familiar, if you play on a modern screen such as an LCD, an LED, OLED, QLED, WXYZ LED, any modern television, you're of course going to experience at least a little bit of lag. Alas, even on your brand new television's gaming mode, the output still isn't going to be as close as it is on a cathode ray tube monitor. Up until last generation, CRTs have been pretty much compatible with every single console ever released. However, with the start of this generation, with consoles like the PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch completely eliminating any sort of composite out video, that means you can't quite plug directly into a CRT. Enter this HDMI to AV converter. You can pick these up pretty much at any electronic retailer. This Insignia branded one retails for around 40 bucks, which I think is a fair price. It's a pretty simple installation. All you have to do is plug HDMI into one end and plug composite video into the other, while making sure you plug the power cable into the wall, of course. When I first picked this device up, I wasn't sure if it was able to process games to a one-to-one -one output like I'm used to on a CRT. And unfortunately, while the output isn't exactly one-to-one, -one, I think that little converter box introduces a tiny bit of lag, it's still the fastest and most responsive way I've ever played Smash Ultimate. Or to be honest, the fastest and most responsive way I've played a video game in years. A CRT is truly a magical piece of technology for gaming. I could definitely understand why purists love to have these things in their game rooms. The one problem with CRT is capturing it on video is a bit of a chore. There's no way to do it perfectly, so unfortunately you're going to see a little bit of graininess and a couple scan lines. So you'll have to take my word for it when I say that this also cleans up the image a little bit. All of the jaggies and sort of crispy shadows smooth themselves out on a CRT. And to be honest, I'm not tech savvy enough to know the reason why, it just sort of does. Now of course, this is just a converter box, you don't have to just use it for Smash, so here's Mortal Kombat. Surprisingly enough, this runs better than it does on any flat screen television. It's so quick and smooth on a CRT, my inputs went through perfectly. Even on a hard opponent, I was still able to manage to land a fatality. I tried a couple more games out as well. Here's Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled, which is a remake of a game from my childhood that I would play on a monitor like this years ago. I just love the idea of going back to my roots and playing a remake of a game game that runs smoother, but is on the exact same hardware that I would have used probably close to 20 years ago. Like Mortal Kombat and Smash, the fact that there's very little input delay makes winning races pretty much a breeze on this thing. I just love the fact that you're able to do something and it just works. Like, you don't have to wait for a response from the television, it just does it. That's really nice, and, and I know that goes without saying I'm playing on a CRT, but trust me. Hell, if you want to, you can even boot up Virtual Console or Super Nintendo Online and play some Super Nintendo games on the CRT like you actually would have back in the 90s. Although, truth be told, if you're going this far, you might as well just play the original hardware if you have it. I find it funny that after all these years, these retro games on a CRT still look far better than they do on a flat screen. As a matter of fact, there's a couple of modern games that look better on a CRT as well. The first is Sonic Mania, and dear god does this look nice on a CRT. Like seriously, this looks like I'm playing a Genesis, like upscaled, it's beautiful. And the fact that you have the near 1 to 1 output makes the Blue Sphere stages really, really easy. This is, in my opinion, the definitive way of playing Sonic Mania. I know that sounds stupid, but the fact that you have the one-to-one -one responsive controls, for a Sonic game, it just works. Like, everything feels how it should. It feels natural to play it this way. The other game that I feel works better on a CRT is Minecraft. And I don't know why, I think it's because of the low resolution textures and graphics, but everything seems to smooth itself out in the distance, and of course having the smooth controls as well helps it. I really like Minecraft on a CRT, and if I could get a cheap 16x9 CRT for my desk, I would probably use it to edit on. Sure, it may not have the up-to-date technology of QLED, but it looks just as good in my opinion. 
The Phosphors are quick, so you can play Duck Hunt with no problems. You wouldn't have to calibrate it for games like Guitar Hero, or in my case, Clone Hero. And for any competitive fighting games, it's a no-brainer. I really like gaming on a CRT. And while it's probably not going to be my go-to way to game just because setting everything up is a bitch and it looks really messy, it's a nice little novelty, and it's something that I'll definitely revisit in the future. <laughs>